Do you want the best collective C100 on the market? Well, here it is. Today, we're going to do an explain and review on the collective C100 stacked custom bike. That's right. I'm going to tell you everything about this bike from how much, no, not how much it costs. You're going to have to hit the link right there, but I will tell you all the parts on it and how you could even upgrade it from here, surpass that. So yeah, here it is. Uh, this C100 was inspired by our other bicycle um, that we did have a have another color, uh, which was gray. Uh, we put most of the parts on it um, that this bicycle has, but on this bicycle, we added a super dope wheel set. So um, yeah, we're gonna run it back to how we do all our videos and uh, pull, pull this camera right off the tripod and we'll go in depth and show you all the little things about this bike and why this bike is the price that it is and why you should get these parts on your bike or possibly buy this bike from us. If you guys need a build like this, always hit us up, come to stackbmx.com or come to our storefront and make sure you have your wallets ready because that's how we help you out. Uh, stuff ain't cheap and our time ain't cheap. So yeah, let's get to it. Let's show you all the different stuff. If you need to buy piece by piece, hit us up and uh, we could get you the correct stuff for your bike. So what we did was is we started off with a collective C100 frame. So everybody knows this one. This one is the version two as a stationary dropout um, along with, you know, I'm an integrated head, actually a tapered headset um, on here. And uh, yeah, these bikes are about 750 if you buy them straight from Collective plus shipping and handling. Um, comes about to, you know, I mean, I would say like, what is that? About 900 bucks, uh, about a 900 bucks to a thousand bucks depending on where you live. So yeah, let's start off with the frame. So yeah, just the black uh, frame with the blue graphics looks pretty dope. Then what we did is we threw on some uh, Primo Cali grips right here. These things are cool because they're way longer um obviously you can move the grips over however you like but this is stock you can cut these handlebars down uh going to the brake lever we have a shimano 201 uh, brake lever on here along with the shimano dior shifter it's kind of hard to see it's right there you can see the dior in there um, this is a 10 speed shifter to go along with the cassette. We'll talk about that in a little while. Uh, the reason why we kept the 10 speed on here is because this is a stock, uh, shifter that comes with it. I uh, just cut, kept the price of the bicycle, uh, way down, even though this bike's really, really expensive. Uh, we just didn't want to put, uh, electronic shifters on there at the moment because that would increase the price another 1500 bucks, uh, creating this bicycle to be an extremely, uh, expensive amount of money but you can also put 11 and a 12 speed shifter on here as well i'll explain that more towards we get to the back so you kind of understand that um we obviously had to have a super solid stem on here one that was super short so we decided to put the thompson elite stem on here uh, this one is a 50 millimeter reach so 50 millimeters from here to here so made it a short reach so that you can sit in the cockpit and kind of just you know i mean work the bars and swerve and do whatever you got to do but we wanted to have it nice and compact next we have the nv m9 carbon bars these bars are super lightweight uh we wanted to put the carbon bars on there because we noticed the stock c100s have uh a aluminum handlebar and they have a really heavy fork so being able to pop the front end up and make it really light makes it really agile and the front end just swings around like nothing so that's why you put the carbon bars on here these things are 810 millimeters i believe i'm pretty sure i forgot to refresh but uh if i'm wrong i'll leave it in the comments but most likely it's 800 if they're not 810 but i'm pretty sure they're 810 um going down to the to the front wheel we got some different suspension forks on here we'll get back to that in a second we did put hookworms tires on here we had to go with the hookworms because they're a wider tire so these are a 2.5 inch wide tire we wanted to have a nice wide tire but on top of that we added the velocity blunt 35 rims so these things are actually 35 millimeters wide which are way wider than the stock ones uh the stock ones are about uh about 28 millimeters wide, I would say. Uh, 
so a lot narrower what that does is it actually makes the well with the rim rim wider it makes the tire even wider so make the normal 2.5 even fatter than most people's 2.5 giving you a little bit more stability a little bit more girth on the tire um then we went down to the profile elite front hub check out this bad boy we went with the volcano um cones right here so that they are uh just super lightweight uh you use a eight millimeter allen wrench to put it in it has or to put the wheel on it's got a uh, super fast bearings on here uh the profile leap but notice that we did do the disc delete uh mainly because a lot of people don't use a front wheel and we want uh you know I mean, somebody that wheelies and swerves and and does stuff like that combos we want them to get this bike and kind of see what bike or what parts would go on to a c100 and these are the top of the line stuff uh it also has stainless steel uh dt swiss spokes and these are black oxidized so they they will last for a very long time and stay black for a very long time. A lot of other spokes are painted and stuff like that. So over time, that paint will chip. Uh, it will just look ugly. But these things will last, last forever and look nice forever. So we went with the Fox 32 fork on here. Uh, the main reason why is because the original C100 comes with the Suntour fork. And that thing is a springer, spring fork. Um, it doesn't have... It's not an air fork. It has a lockout, but the lockout doesn't work at all um so this one has a lockout on here so it has a fully open so yes and suspension this has 100 millimeters of travel uh if you lock it out in this lock position it'll keep the fork from popping so i notice a lot of people bouncing and stuff on their fork um, and this one completely eliminates that if you lock it out but if you like that you can just crank it to the left on the fly and now it will bounce just like that another thing is is that this is the float and it has an air valve on here so this one's cool uh because if you notice i don't know if you can see it on here let me see if it's on here um no so these forks here you actually uh, uh oh, here it is i'm gonna show you right here so these forks you actually have different air amounts that you could put on here and it's based off of your weight so if your 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 weight is different you add different air pressures on here and it'll accommodate you and ride phenomenal so we put that on there mainly because it takes about two or three pounds off your front end and if you ride this bike compared to one of the stock ones this thing is super awesome it pops up really easy and it just feels super nice next we went to the pedals we put a basic plastic pedal on here to keep the price down but to give you ultimate grip the primo uh jj pedals on here work from phenomenal they have a little slight curve to them uh so it locks your feet in it's you know i mean Keeps your foot on there very, very easily. Uh, next, we went to a super light crank arm. Uh, it has a hollow hollow spindle in there. Let me see if I move it. So a hollow spindle to keep the cranks light. Um, but these things are manufactured amazing. Also to keep them light and stiff. And then we also did the XTR uh, chain ring on here. We did a 36 because 36 just feels amazing. Um, we kept a stock chain on here. This is a 10 speed chain. We just kept that bad boy on there just because we didn't want to increase the price another hundred dollars on a chain. I know you think hundred bucks on a chain is pretty crazy, but there's some that go up more than that. I think, uh, about 250 for some of the, the titanium ones. Um, but uh, yeah, next we had to put a dope seat on here. We had to match a blue. So we went with the La Plaga suede seat on here. So that thing is phenomenal. Uh, matches the grips really well, matches the pedals really well. Uh, next on the back, we did the same thing. We put a Max's hookworm on here. We did the blunt 35 rim. We did the stainless steel spokes and we did the profile elite rear hub. This is the 10, 11, 12 uh speed elite hub with the disc brakes we went with the shimano uh 201 brakes as well to keep the price down uh if you want to upgrade you can go all the way up to xtrs which is uh, you know i mean a brake like this it matches the crank arms pretty well uh looks pretty dope but this is this brake here is going to have maximum power uh this one's pretty introductory but we didn't want to put a 325 dollar uh brake setup on this bike to increase the price even more we wanted to keep it pretty low another thing that we did here is we threw some bolts on here blue bolts to kind of give it that little little hint 
of, of coolness. We also put a, a 160 rotor on here to give you a good amount of stopping power, but keep it lightweight. We went with the stock 10 speed cassette on here, uh, mainly because we didn't want to raise the price another 250 bucks on top of that. Uh, and then we also have the Shimano Dior derailleur on here. Uh, this is the 10 speed one. We didn't want to put anything else on there to increase the price even more on the bicycle. Uh, we just want to keep it a moderately priced bicycle with a sick wheel set on here, a great fork, great cockpit, great crank system, pretty much everything that you need to ride. And then as you have a few more bucks, you can kind of upgrade these little things um, if you like. But um, like I said before, this is the Shimano uh, you know, 10, 11, 12 speed cassette. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, cassette. The reason why our hub, um, I know it's going to get confusing because cassette's going to be this. And this is a you know, I mean, cassette or free hub, if you want to call it that. Um, this is compatible with 11, 10, 11, or 12. So you can put a, a 12 speed uh, cluster on here slash cassette. You could also switch it out to a 12 speed derailleur, a 12 speed chain, and a 12 speed shifter if you like. And you can do whether it's cable pull or you can do hydraulic. If you need any of that stuff, we can get it for you. Just let us know and uh, yeah, we'll get you all set up. But uh, yeah, that's locked to senior. Yeah, that's pretty much uh, it for the collective C100 stacked custom build let us know if you want us to build you up a bike we can build the sickest stuff i've been doing this for over 25 years working at shops and uh owning my shop for almost 10 years and uh yeah i know a lot of stuff that we don't show you because i'm just stuck here working on bikes and don't have enough time to film and show you i got all that guy's stuff but if you want to check me out on instagram check me out at can't stop la if you want to buy this bike just hit the link right there you can pick up this bike or you could see the specs on the bike and kind of add those to your bike. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching. We appreciate you checking out this video. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, uh, turn on your notification bells and share this video with somebody that would love this video and love to see this bicycle and check out all the cool stuff that are on this bicycle. And uh, yeah, appreciate you guys and we'll see you next time. Peace out.